Oh, Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar Binks. Yeah. Another two classic. Two. Chris is the least two. favorite Star Wars character. Least yeah. favorite? Hey everybody, Oren here from LBC and I'm here with Alex and Chris from Third Eye Blind. How are you guys today? Good thanks. Canada. Wonderful. Just Canada. Wonderful. Love Canada. Here. Beautiful water. Toronto. It is. It's really nice out, you know, and we got some water there. We got a boat. A lot of water right here. A lot of water. It's a, it's a bit full down there. So we were here, when were we here? Last two, 2015. 2015 and we took our favoritist cycle ride of the tour. Let it slide. Let slide. <laughs> We went on down yonder ways. It is. It's, it's wonderful here. Um, that's great. You guys were also here last year, right, for Way Home in the Way general that's area. Right, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Was that was last a, year. Yeah, that was last year. That was last, last summer. Year. Ages ago. That, yeah. was, that was really good. Actually, great the, I think the photograph that we're using is our logo, our graphic for this tour. Way Home that festival. That's awesome. That was just that was such a fun festival, just from all perspectives. No, it was bumper shoot. Actually. All the, yeah. Well. Yeah. Okay. Whoops. Never mind. You know, I guess. <laughs> Good times. Just I got a good hat there for free. Really? Yeah. What was the hat? I don't know. Just said hat on it? That'd be cool. A hat that says hat? Yeah. My favorite kind of that. Um, so, I guess let's start off. This is a big tour. Um, Third Night Blind as a whole, you guys have kind of always been a uh, band against nostalgia. you kind of been typically more excited to play the new material, which I think holds up just as well to, you know, the old stuff. Uh, I guess, why the decision to play the self-titled album? Obviously, for you know, the anniversary, well, 20 but also. Well, 20 years ago. <laughs> be the main reason. Oh, it's going 20 years ago. Yeah, I mean, it's just the fucking the music. Yeah, the obvious thing to do. Because that's a damn good record. That's right, it is. Yeah, I'm fine. It's aged well. It, it had like a nice wine. Yeah, I think it's something the band's never really done, so it's kind of it's kind of a thank you to the fans. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. So the, that's fair. Um, Simple as that. I guess and. and just said, damn fine record. What yeah. is your favorite song off the record? Yeah, I don't ask that. No? Yeah, people always ask. People take it and kind of play around. Yeah, well, the one that people always ask me if you is, what's your favorite song to play live? Yeah. I'm always like, come on. <laughs> yeah. It's, I mean, yeah, I don't know, pick whatever one. Whatever. whatever. I mean, they're all different. It's like apples and oranges. I like playing the whole second half of that record just because we don't play a lot of those songs very often. So yeah, it's yeah. fun to play those. Well, I mean, like, like London, for example, that's all yeah. that's been played in yeah. forever. Well, so. we played it in 2010. Yeah, but like other than that, kind of rare, yeah. rare occasions. Yes, yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. But I remember fun. we did two nights in London in 2010, and we played a different set each night. Yeah. The end of the European tour, the last night, was pretty fucking epic. When we played London, the place went ballistic. Ballistic term, yeah. Bananas. Bananas. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, yeah, exactly. Uh, Gwen Stefani, Classic. thoughts? Love her. Love her tummy. Love her tummy? And small tits. She, like, she did for small tits <laughs> what uh, what Beyonce did for big bones. Yeah. Where's where Gwen that? Stefani's, where's her credit for that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the question. I put that. Yeah. She's great. I, I saw No Doubt Live a couple years ago. Yes. Awesome. No doubt. She still looked amazing. Um, so, and, and I mean, it must kind of be a bit intimidating to be playing this album that has so many memories associated with it for so many people. And, you know, people kind of glue this album to their summers of, you know, the, the late 90s and kind of glue it to all, all time, really, all kinds of great events for them. So does that make it sort of intimidating for you guys to play these songs? Do you have to give it that extra punch for the, the crowd? I don't think it's intimidating, really. It's more like... It's it's exciting. Exciting. Yeah, it's like yeah. we yeah. know when we come out because we do like a, a short set of new material yep. and a couple of old songs. Then we leave the stage and then we come out and play the first record from start to finish almost. And then like we encore, but like when we come out and do that, the opening like kind of losing the whole year. It's just you can just feel everybody take a breath. Just like, here we go. Yeah. yeah, and we were all big music fans, so like, you know we know exactly what that's like. It's like when Weezer went out and toured the yes. blue record, and then the next night they played Pinkerton. And the next time, you know, it was like, oh. Well, and I was I was gonna say, uh, you know, perfect world scenario, living or dead, you could pick anyone. What uh, is an album that you would want to see an anniversary tour for? Played front to back. Okay, oh, yeah,
fuck it. Dinger, I know, you gotta really like, yeah. Oh, and then I'm going like, but what about Jimmy Hendrix? God, yeah. Super Man. Yeah, but, I mean, the but they were, yeah. <laughs> they were always too fucking high a lot. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of great examples for that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, okay, finally, are you guys, you guys wanna play a little, little game? Can we play a little, fun little time, a little game here? Let's do it. Okay, so right now we're gonna play Name That I with Third eye blind. Did see it? Did you see the connection? Name that eye. I see the connection. Yeah, that's very good. <laughs> so let's go into it here. I'm going to show as literal as I think it's going to okay. be. Well, name that eye. Can uh, I ask the old eyes? A lot of eyes in the world. Like, is it an eye? Like, it's not like somebody's something else. Well, it's an eye. You know that thing about the hot dogs or legs? Right? I love hot dogs. Or hot dogs or legs. legs. Boobs or bones. I've never seen hot dogs or legs. No. Oh, man, hot dogs or legs, it's a classic. Yeah. I haven't, really. It's, it's like Instagram it. pictures of like, you know, a lot of girls take a picture of their legs, legs like this at the beach, so it's like and it's literally like hot dogs use. or legs, and it'll zoom out. Oh. It's, it's literally just so many holding yeah. two hot dogs. Wow, I feel like I'm missing out. <laughs> you are. I feel like, why do I even have the internet? Yeah, I'm not seeing hot dogs or legs. Just cancel your internet. Just cancel your internet, cancel your cable. Yeah. Hot dogs or legs is all that you need to know about. <clears throat> all right. So first, I name that I. Barney. That's um. Fuck it. The purple thing of Teletubbies. No, Barney. I don't know. Barney. It's, it's Barney. Barney. That's right. There's, there's a Barney. picture of Barney. <laughs> Remember that? What the fuck is Barney? You don't know Barney? Barney. Barney. You didn't drop the mask. Uh, uh, Cancel your cable. <laughs> Cancel your internet if you don't know Barney. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Name that I. Robert De Niro, something like that. That almost looks like Brian Cranston from Malcolm as well. I think Robert De Niro, you might be right. It's one of those. I'm going to go with Robert De Niro. I like the Brian Cranston, but from, from Malcolm, Malcolm in the middle. middle. Not. I mean, he looks like a, he's a completely really different bad. person. You know, not some of this yeah. Breaking Bad shit. I'm talking Malcolm in the Middle, Brian yeah. Cranston. What is that? It was Gilbert Gottfried, oh. the classic. I wouldn't have got that. You ever seen Aladdin? I mean, yeah, but I still wouldn't. When you played that little <laughs> That was probably the last time I saw that. <laughs> I think I'm going to have a heart attack and die. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where he's been. No, no, no one knows. Here's a classic guy. Oh, Steve Buscemi. Ah, uh, the Buscemi eye. <laughs> yeah. You ever seen those pictures where it's like they put the Buscemi eyes on other people and no. they just look bizarre? Apparently, I should cancel my Yeah, you can cancel your internet. He's kind of funny looking. You know, just kind of funny looking. <laughs> so, yeah, Steve Buscemi. Oh, Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar Binks. Yeah. Another two classic. Two. Chris is the least two. favorite Star Wars character. Least favorite? Yeah. Did you ever hear the theory where yeah, it's he's gonna be like the evil, Sith Lord? Evil, yeah, the Sith Lord. It turns out to be Jar Jar. Did you see though? So the first that would suck. in the first that would be the, like episode one where Jar Jar is in it, and everybody yeah. like there was no end of shit that that poor guy had to eat after that movie came out, right? And George Lucas took a lot of flack for it as well. But he put him in the second movie. And he doesn't have any words. He doesn't have any, any dialogue. It's at the end, doesn't he? The first scene that he's in in the second movie is like they're all exiting. And everyone's walking out, and you're kind of following the lead characters that are walking out. And if you watch Jar Jar, he's walking, he looks at the camera. He literally goes like, like that, on his way out, as in like, we're all still here, you know what I mean? They literally made him like look right at the camera. I dare you insult, yeah. I dare you insult my he's character. Like, I'm still here. <laughs> yeah, but that poor bastard, when the guy who played him. Oh yeah, no, I feel bad for him. Yeah, Same with um, like Jake Lloyd. Well, Jake Lloyd, yeah, what a piece of shit. So. Who? I mean, he is a kid who played Anakin as a kid. They suck. That's the worst. He's also in uh, Jingle All the Way. You ever see that movie? Oh, no. That's a great one. Arnold Schwarzenegger Christmas movie. It's oh, a good time. Uh, and then finally, haha, <laughs> name that eye. Oh, there you go. The front cover. First frame. Yeah, got to tie it all back. It's I don't know who that is, but no. What well, we do actually, we do. I was saying the Jingle. I know. I was saying the Jingle. You should get her now and recreate the cover. Well, I can't. <laughs> Fair she's, she's known to us. Okay, yeah. It's almost like whenever they did like uh, Anima of the State and they had the her and they yeah. went back and redid it, yeah. Classic. Anyway, 
It's been a good time. Looking at eyes, talking about things, cancel your internet, Jar Jar Binks. Um, do you have any final words for the audience uh, at home? Anything you want to say to them? Cancel your internet. Gwen Stefani, we love you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, shout out Gwen Stefani. <laughs> okay. <laughs>